I've got two charts that I want to, uh, uh, to, to show this morning as it relates to crime in our city. Um, I refuse to accept anyone saying that this is the most dangerous city because it is not, okay? I don't care who it is. It can be someone from the pulpit. It can be some, some business person. It could be someone in the street. But I'm not going to allow anybody to tarnish the represent, represent, reputation of the city. The first chart is a chart that is sent to me from HPD uh, every, other, every other week. And, it talk, and it, uh, it's a, a multi-city comparison uh, that is sent to me from HPD, and I look at these numbers every other week. And if you can, I don't know if you can blow it up a little bit, uh, but in terms of homicides, and I just, and this is not to disparage other cities, I just want to look at it from a factual point of view. Uh, Chicago, for example, as of this, this time period, year to date, uh, they, uh, there are 465 murders in Chicago. Houston has 308. Philadelphia has 373. Again, Houston has 308. So when you're looking at one city where the homicide rate, in terms of number of homicides, is 465, and Houston has 308, you see the, the, the huge difference between the two. In that last category, when you look at the number of homicides per capita, Houston is 13.36 per, per, per 100,000 capital. And then look at all of the other cities and where they stand. Chicago is higher than the city of Houston. Philadelphia is at 23.26. Indianapolis is at 16. Washington, D.C. is at 20.59. Memphis is at 23. Louisville is at 16.9. Baltimore is at 41.49. Milwaukee is at 27.03. Atlanta is at 21.46. Pittsburgh is at 15.51. And St. Louis is at 44.76. Houston is at 13.36. We are not even in the top 10. Okay? We're not in the top 10. And so it is important. Facts should still matter. Facts should matter whether you're in the pulpit or whether you're behind this chair as the mayor of the city of Houston. And so I, from a factual point of view, 100% uh, uh, disagree with anyone who claims that this city is the most dangerous city in America because that is factually, factually not true. And you can pull your numbers from online, okay? But that doesn't get you in, in order to try to establish your point. But these, this number, this chart is sent to me every other week by HPD. Now on the next chart, get the next one. On, the, on this chart, it tells you in comparison of where, where we are in relation to uh, uh, the previous years, for example. And so as of this morning, and I get this and look at this, this chart every single mo uh, morning, Monday through Friday. And as you can see, as of this morning, uh, when you compare where we were to last year, we are 3% below, okay? Nine fewer, nine fewer murders in the city of Houston than we, were last, than we were last year. And we're working every day to try to drive those numbers down. But we are 3% below. And the iron, I mean, and, 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 and what is important to note at, at the beginning of the year, we were 65, 70% above last year. But as of this morning, we are 3% below. And these are numbers, again, that HPD sends to me every single morning, Monday through Friday. The multi-city comparison, I look at every single week. So this is what, this is what I do uh, as a mayor of the city of Houston, working directly with law enforcement and working with HPD. Uh, and so this is the lane in which I find myself in. And so I am going to take issue very strongly with anyone for, for whatever reason, they stand up and say that Houston is the most dangerous city in America, and that is factually not the case. And it's important for us to refute that because in positions of leadership, other people are listening. Other people are listening to that. And if you're in a position of leadership, and especially if you, had a, if you have a, a wide following, then other people take that information and they run with it. And then they go tell somebody else, and then they go tell somebody else. 
And so you have a lot of misinformation. And so I respect people. I respect people in their leadership positions. I respect people when I'm not going to take issue. I'll be very, very reluctant to take issue, for example, if my pastor in the pulpit and, he, and he's dissecting the scripture. That's what he does. That's his area of expertise. And I would be very reluctant to stand up and say to my pastor, for example, you know, I disagree with you in your interpretation of the scripture. That's what he does. That's his training. And the same thing to any, for example, to any person in their particular position. But in terms of um, crime in this city and how we stack up against other cities, and I will tell you when you look at the per capita numbers, we're not even in the top 10, okay? So from a factual point of view, we are certainly not the most dangerous city in America, and I would, and I would hope and pray that people would stop saying that. I can't stop people from saying it and pull away from that position. And then lastly, let me, let me just say this. I think as leaders, we have to be very, very careful when we start characterizing people and calling people bombs, okay? I think we need to be very, very careful about that statement. I think we need to be careful. And initially, I was going to leave it alone. But I know if my, if my daddy heard me saying that about somebody, he would say, hold up, hold up, son, okay? We don't talk that way. That's not what we do. And so I, I, I would hope that, that as leaders we stay away from that type of language, those type of words. We can disagree. But because, for example, um, Councilman Plum, if you disagree with me, that doesn't make you a bum. You have that right. We can disagree. Councilman Salon, we can disagree. But I don't have to characterize you or call you uh, uh, some name because we disagree. That doesn't, make, that doesn't make for what I call a wholesome city. Now, discourse is fine, okay? And facts matter. And leaders have an obligation to make sure that we are providing factual information. And that's why I wanted to provide these charts to you this morning. Um, because the reputa rep reputation of this city is important. We represent this city. And the reputation of this city is important. So I want to highlight that.